my first day off of the, uh, the semester. I decided to take Fridays off to have a day for myself. And it's already super annoying. So, uh, the one thing that I was going to definitely do on the day off was go to the laundromat and get my clothes washed. But I decided to go to the closer one. Oh, look, it's his spoon sword. He's been captured. I don't know how he opened the door though but I decided uh, you know to go get my laundry and, but I go to a new place and I gotta say the water seems better because it actually smells like my stuff's clean whereas the other one that I go to it smells like it's kind of clean but this new place the unfortunate and annoying thing is that it's 50 cents for five minutes for the dryer which is way overpriced the, every other laundromat I've ever been to, it's a quarter. 25 cents for five minutes. That means it's a dollar for a dollar for 20 minutes to dry your clothes. Whereas over at the new place, it's like two dollars to dry my clothes. But I didn't realize, because it, it doesn't say anything. It just says 50 cents. It doesn't tell you what you get for 50 cents. So I put in the 50 cents just so I could see what am I getting for the 50 cents saw that it was only five minutes and I was like I'll just put my clothes in and drive to the other place but it also doesn't refund your money so once you put that money in it's keeping that money so I had to stay there and after the five minutes like my clothes were still wet because <laughs> of course they're gonna be still wet well, not clothes. I washed, like, blankets. But they were still wet. And so I was like, oh, do I really want to go to another place just to get these finished getting dried? And I was like, no, whatever. I'm never going to come back here. I'll spend the, another 50 cents to see what happens. And so I put in another 50 cents, got my clothes, or got the stuff back, and it was identical. They were nothing changed from the extra five minutes they were still as dampish as they were after the first five minutes so that was a dollar to not even get my stuff dried whereas my um the laundromat i normally go to it would have all gotten done my stuff would have gotten clean and it would have gotten done and i would have been happy But no. Oh wait. Is there anything under this? No. Yeah, I would have been happy. And would have had clean stuff. Oh, why did you do that? Because I was annoyed by the thing. So then the next thing was, for work, uh, so I work at a college. I work with tutoring and helping people with math, English, biology, whatever. It's just a bunch of different stuff. But uh, they want us to go to the high school to tell them about what we have to offer. And it's like, okay, sure. But it's like only two classes that need someone to visit, right? Well, two, two professors, a total of maybe four classes. So they would only need to really send one person. But my coworker, she's like, well, I'll go to one of them, but I don't think I should have to go to both because I don't tutor in the other one. She does. She doesn't tutor for that specific professor, but she does tutor in that subject. So there's no reason why she couldn't just go to both of the classrooms to do her tutoring or not to, to just tell them what our services are that's all they're doing they're just going to tell them what our services are she's not going to be the one who's actually tutoring those people oh. but of course she, she just didn't want to you know do it which is more annoying because she's actually she has a child who goes to the school so she knows her way around the school she knows things about the school i don't i didn't go to the school 
So I'm going to have to walk. I'm going to be a random adult man wandering around a high school knowing absolutely nothing. Whereas if she would have just done it, she would know which classrooms are which. Hey, there he is. I see him. She would know which classrooms are which. She would know where to go. She would know who these teachers are, probably because her son may have had them. But she just, for no reason at all, is making things difficult and annoying and stupid. Because she, she's kind of one of those drama-y people. Uh, the other day, our boss had told her, uh, the other math person, because she's mainly math, told her other math tutor to clean up the room a bit, get rid of the clutter, you know, try to make it look a bit more professional because there's going to be like investors and people coming by. So she started taking down like this origami and all this arty stuff. And the girl got upset. And she came over to me to be like, did they tell you you had to clean up? And I'm like, no, because we I don't put things on the walls <laughs> in, in the room that I work in because it's for work purposes. She's like, well, they're probably going to come and tell you something. And I was like, they're not. <laughs> but she was just upset that something bad had happened to her and had to come in for no reason, thinking that I was going to engage in it and be like, oh, that's so sad. Oh, that sucks. But I'm not, because it's not that big a deal <laughs> to me. If the boss says, get rid of your, your stuff, get rid of your stuff. Make it seem professional. Like it. So that's just, that's just annoying. And that's, that's my first, how long has it been? Three hours of, no, because I had lunch. Or not, I had lunch, I had breakfast. It's my first two hours of my, of my first day off, showing that it's probably going to be super annoying. I want you, Crow. Yet still you persevere. I'm not sure if that's admirable or stupid. No, it's definitely stupid. Now, you'll excuse me. I must have some alone time with my infuri- with this infuri- infuriate- whatever, young lad. Infuriate. Hopefully I can make him see sense. He doesn't have eyes. Now please, go away! And again, the crow's just like, I don't- I'm a crow. Oh. And so I'm relaxing, I'm playing more death store. Oh yeah, and because the laundry like the stuff didn't get fully dried, but I live in a hundred and two degree weather. Well it's only eighty nine right now. I'm just letting it air dry in my place. Let's go back. I'm just going to let it air dry here in my place and uh, not worry too much about it. So far, it's mainly just the blankets that are still slightly damp. You have no new yet yeah, because you guys haven't moved. Now, that's the same dialogue you had before. Maybe it's because I've turned the game off since. I think I have... Yeah. Oh, so I bought... Uh, attack damage two. Because I ended up having 700 after the last thing. Instead of buying magic damage one. So now I'll buy magic damage one. And look, my stuff, it's showing up at my desk. So much that I'm taking over a second desk. But I mean, there's nine desks and only um, me makes three. You're four, Ball is five, and Baga is six. So, to the inner furnace. Not the outer furnace. But yeah, that's, that's how my morning's going. First world problems, I know. I think what I'm just going to do is, next time I do my laundry, wash it at the new place, because the water is significantly better. And then just drive it down to dry it at the other place. Because this other one is convenient, because it's right below the place that I live. But, like, 50 cents 
for a dryer that doesn't fully dry. I'm gonna go with this. I mean, 50 cents for five minutes, it's not gonna fully dry. Like, shouldn't cost me four bucks to do my laundry. Three bucks I'm okay with, but for some reason, four bucks I'm not. Maybe it's just because it didn't dry my stuff. Maybe that's why. If there would have been a difference between five minutes and ten minutes, I probably would have been like, oh, all right. But if it's still dampish and wet, then it's kind of like, oh, why am I doing this? Oh, wait, these ones don't have protrusions. Oh, do they? I don't know. Cause they're dead. I don't know, cause they're dead. Let me on. She's making muck. That's just who I can only think of at the moment. I don't want to waste my time on you. If <laughs> there's just a door immediately after. Oh, oh, I forgot about you. Oh, God. And I missed. There we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, I was trying to get a two. No, I'm trying to get a two for here. Yes. Dang it. <laughs> nope. There we go. Thought I had the upgraded version. I don't know why I thought I had the upgraded version. These are probably my favorite enemy. Just because I like the witch doctor vibe. Okay, I'm gonna heal before I head through that door. <laughs> just cause. Just cause five. Really just cause five? I don't know. Yep, I see you down there. This fern is going. No thanks. No oh, thanks. So the little ones do have the little spikies. Is there anything I'm missing? Looking around, looking around, not seeing anything. Pop a seed. Pop a seed. As I say, one of you. Nope, both of you. Can you go up the stairs? You can, but not while you're spinning. And that's why you're dead. Well, you're dead because I sliced you to bits. That's the real reason you did. Nope. Okay. Well, obviously, that's on a different level. They thought that through. I didn't. Oh no, it's a biggie boy. Oh. And I get nothing for killing him. So there's probably no reason to waste time here. Oh, 
so I'm not going to waste time there. Oh! Okay. No! I didn't notice the archer over there! No, I missed the shot. Oh, and I did that. Hold up. Oh, you jerk. Fine, I'll hit I'll get these ones. Excuse me. You. A uh, sec. Can you send it back, please? I hate the archer so much. So much. So much. There. Archer is dead. No, I was hitting the pot. Well, I was trying to hit the pot. Oh! It's just a running point. Go, go, go point. Yep. Oh no! There's an archer! Ugh. Oh, I killed the archer, so it's okay. Oh, and it pushed some of them off, so I got some more souls. Some death souls. I am in need. In need of a... In need of a, uh, a healy boy. I want to kill you. Man, I will. I guess I didn't need to. There we are. Give me some of that. Oh, I didn't even see that there was an explosive over there. I mean, I will obviously take it. Because why would I not? Oh, that's not a, a platform. At least not a platform like this is a platform. Come at me. Excuse me. Fire. Fire it. So that I can kill you. See, the arrow hits first first object, so the fireball is a better choice as it passes through objects. Nothing here either. Why are all of her bookshelves bare? Okay. And hit it. And avoid it. And hit it. And avoid it. Hurry, hurry. And avoid it. And hit it. Let me go. Oh! 
Oh, I'm out of juice. I'm out of the juice. I'm out of the juice. Oh, gosh, no. Because I went back here because I think there's a thing back here. There's not! I went back here for nothing. Oh, no. I, I went back there for nothing, but he died, so it's okay. I thought there was secret. Secret like the squirrel. No, oh, I missed it. Well, it's okay. I need this one anyways. So now I'm here. Oh, it is active. I was to say, is this one working? Did I miss it? Kill the easy ones. Build them souls. Squawk souls. Oh, I rolled. Come on. I'm not facing the right direction. Enemies that split apart when you attack them. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, God. Big boys. Not a fan of the big boys. Definitely not a fan of the big boys. Oh, it's this one, too. Ah! No! Fine. Oh. There. It's out of the way. means I can press on. They're coming out of the sewers. They just popped out of the ground like daisies. Excuse me. Nothing else over here? Okay. We're going to need bow. No, we can do fire. I don't remember if I need to kill them all or not. So I'm just going to do it just in case there's a, a key thing. No. Wasn't even a key thing. So we'll just press on. Oh, this was... This is her. <laughs> this is the boss fight. They always put a door right before the boss fight. Well, the main boss fight. So, this is the main boss fight. I don't think I have enough because I need 600 or 800 for the next upgrade. And now we have one hundo. I remember she was super annoying. But um, maybe I'll get it first try. Since I do kind of... Like, of all the... No, she's not the hardest of the baby boss guys. Baby boss guys. There's four, four main bosses. Five main bosses. Of all the, f the five main bosses, I'd say she's the third hardest. She's the first one you fight. Well, six, because there was the the spirit of the force. I forgot. I'm reading these. I can fool the Grim Reaper himself. I missed like her first things of dialogue because I was talking. You and I have something in common, little crow. The same employer. She works for my boss. But goodness, we 
can't have them finding out about everything you've seen. Don't worry. I'll put your ashes in a lovely urn. Behold! She could have just jumped down. The Witch of Urns. Grandma. That's her name. The Witch of Urns. Grandma. So she's just annoyingly like the, um... The, uh, the one dude. Oh, I hit that. She does this. What do you do when she does this? You wail on her. Oh, come on. This is the part. <laughs> Since she lands on the ground, you can get them significant hits in. Each of them has like a unique thing, obviously you want to take advantage of. I'm trying to think, do you refight her? At some point? Because, like, I have the, uh... I remember using the... the extra powerful... Like the upgraded abilities. No, I missed it. Oh gosh, no. That ain't good. Yeah, but she is getting. Oh, bomb. She's getting a. Uh... Her, her attacks are changing, which means she's significantly hurt. So now she's chucking three. Three bomby boys. I'm trying to think. Do I want the range or do I want the swifter attack? Like, having more attacks might be better. Oh, come on. I get three swings. I get three swings. And chuck it. Chuck it in the bucket. Save that. Save that ghost. Ooh, she's already at this phase. Save them ghosts. Save them ghosts. Oh, and I missed them. Save them ghosts, man. Oh, wait. I forgot she hops around for a bit. Oh, why did I do I didn't need to do that. There's no reason to do that. There was really no reason for me to do that. No, that's a purple. Oh, she launched him. She launched him. Oh, I swung! Oh my gosh, I swung. That should have hit her. So walk through, say, to just go through, get up to the boss fights. And then do all the boss fights at once, because you could technically just do that. Like, do all the boss fights at the end. But I didn't do it that way. I did it. The actual fighting way. Or maybe I did it that way with the, the um, the, uh, the umbrella, and that's why I remember having f burn damage. 
Because burn damage is what you get with your upgraded fire ability. It's a DOT. That's right. I wish I had like quick, quick weapon change. Like I want to be able to change my weapons fast. Not having to wait. Which is essentially what I'm doing with these. Using her little ghost things. Oh, you can get some damage in. Get some damage in. She's not glowing enough. Which means I'm not even halfway through the fight. Need you to glow harder, girl. Save the ghost. Save the ghost. Oh, she already left. Save them ghosts. Save them ghosts. Oh, come on. How did she know that's where I was going to roll to? Here it is. Here it is. This is, I think, stage two. Or maybe this is stage three. I don't remember. I don't remember. She's getting rather cracked, though, so I know I'm getting closer. There it was. That was stage three. So stage two is when she jumps in the bottle and spins. Yeah. Stage three is when she's spewing her purple energy without without the bottle. Not the bottle, it's an urn. There go, big soul collected. What is it? Giant soul collected. We gather here today to mourn the passing of a woman known by many names. The Witch of Urns. The ceramic sorceress. Earthenware, earthenware enchantress. Crockery crone. And, of course, Grandma. Driven by her maternal instincts and consumed by her endeavors to outwit death, she filled her life with a passion for magic, reanimation, potions, and pots. Her journey is concluded. She is now at peace. Bow your head in remembrance. Pay your last respects. Time in this world is over. Golf, Granny. Golf. She died as she lived. The pot on her head. I suppose I will never be rid of this pot for a head. Still, I hope she finds peace beyond life. She can finally be reuni reunited with Grand Pot. Grandpa. Slip of the tongue. I quite literally have pots on the brain. Seriously, though. Rip Gran. Rip Gran. Rip Gran. And we leave! Wait a minute. That's not the correct exit to the door. And that's Chiron's bus. Sharon's. I forgot it's Sharon in this. It's Sharon's bus. Huh. Okay. No. You guys don't want to talk to me? Best Lord. The Lord of Doors. That's my boss. Well, a crow. Hello there. And how 
exactly did you get in here? Ah, what's the point in having command over all the doors in this world if my servants never remember to lock them? So why are you here? I haven't actually met a crow in many, many years. You still have those beaks? Mm, nice. I sense a vast amount of soul energy about you, little crow. Strange. Feels oddly familiar to me. Oh, is that why you're here? You've come seeking a reward. No, it's gonna punch me right in the face. Very good job, little one. Bravo! Bravo! Now, feel it. Good little bird. Turn them into your vault. There's no need to bring souls directly to me. I have more important matters to attend to. Like drinking my coffee or tea. I think it's tea because he's got his pinky out. You don't extend your pinky for coffee. Ciao! Yes, that's Death's Door. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? Did you find your assignment yet? Wait, you have a giant soul? But it's the wrong one! I can't process that! How did you manage that? Never mind. Get back out there and find your assigned soul. Can't help you unless you bring back your assigned soul. Can't you see how stressed I am? Oh, uh, welcome to the vault. The soul vault. Would you like to increase your... Oh, yeah, I don't read his because it's just... Yeah, it's just pretty generic. I heard a rumor about a crow many, many years ago. Crow failed to finish their mi Oh, we've already heard this. Okay. And you two are still here, so I'm guessing you have the exact same. Yes. There's already the exact same. So that was the inner furnace in the witch's... The urn witch's laboratory. Oh, I put them into the same level. It's fine. Oh, as well as this one? Is this hers? No. I put them into the same one. But they're basically the same level, so it's fine. It's fine. 